anything extra special <coughs> because I really wanted to come out swinging this season. I worked really hard this off season uh, with a lot of good coaches and training mates, and uh, yeah, I got it taken away from me unfortunately in an accident. So I wasn't I wasn't able to uh, compete in Oceanside and. You know, uh, Lionel's one of my best friends, and he got the dub, so I definitely at Oceanside, so I definitely had some FOMO. And then another best friend is Sam, and he got the dub at St. George, two courses that are pretty bike-heavy courses. So I was just like, oh, I was on the trainer for both those races, just crying sad tears. I was like, I was happy for the boys, but I was like, man, I got some FOMO. So to come out here, and I'm healthy, I'm fit. Um, yeah, I'm just over the moon to, to get a to get a win and. You know, get a perfect score in the IM series now, and now I'm uh, all in for the full distance in the back half of this summer. So you had a goal for the bike coming into this race, yep. And it definitely showed. You put the hammer down. Can you kind of take us through uh, what was going on out there for you? Yeah, yeah. Like I said in Chattanooga, um, I, I had about five, four to five runs leading into Chattanooga. Uh, Chattanooga went okay. Uh, ran like a 114 high. I mean, it's a great run, but usually I'm around a 109, 110 average, depending on the day. And uh, so obviously had to just play a little bit of a different card. And that's like kind of really destroy the bike because I don't have the run legs, obviously, because I had the six weeks off because of the back and the head. Um, and I'm still kind of coming back from that. I'm still on an everyday run program, right? Every other day run program right now. So, um, yeah, I just really need to take what was mine on the bike. And also, too, I'm, I'm new to altitude. I'm. I'm a newish Boulder County resident, so uh, I'm still, you know, unsure of how the altitude affects me. And it's hot; it was warm as well. So I just needed to take what was mine on the bike, uh, form a gap, and try to hold it. I mean, Hanson. I mean, he is one of the the best runners in the world, and uh, you know, uh, for triathlon. So, yeah, I knew uh, I could beat with him maybe in uh, by Placid or so, but not yet. So I needed to uh, bike like Walt Van Aert out there. Well. Congrats on back-to-back -back races, man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks to Ironman. Thanks to all the volunteers. And yeah, can't recommend this course enough. Yeah, overall, pretty happy with how things shook out. Um, I had a pretty good swim, got into some clean water right away and was able to get into just a, a small group of three. I was, I was quite surprised how quickly it kind of spread out. But I was, yeah, our group was kind of in no man's land between the main pack and then the front group of five or six. and. Um, you know, I got out of the water thinking I was going to, you know, set myself up for a really great day and got on onto the bike and Trevor came up on me pretty darn early. So, uh, you know, looking at the, the numbers afterwards, he had a, a fantastic swim and he's going to be really tough to beat on a course like this if he, you know, you only put in 45 seconds on him in the, out of the water. So, um, you know, I got off the bike going sub two, thought I had done enough to give myself a chance and found out the first split I got, I was six minutes down. So, um, you know, he was just phenomenal on the bike. He always is, but, uh, you know, going 151 is pretty special. So uh, I just did what I could to try to bring myself up and, uh, you know, moved into second at the end of the first lap. And then it was just try to save as many points as I could uh, for the Pro Series at that point, because, you know, unless he blew up, I wasn't going to catch him. You got to be happy with the performance though, right? Coming yeah. off Chattanooga? Yeah, I mean, coming off of Chattanooga, I didn't really feel like I recovered really quickly. It's the third race of a, of a build, so this is the fourth one. So, you know, to end with two podiums going into mid-season break, you can't much complain about that. Congrats on your race, man. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's good, you know. I had a uh, solid day. Let's call it solid. Um, you know, the altitude, it's just, even though I live here, I've lived here for almost 10 years, it's... I don't know, just when you're racing, it just hits, hits a bit different than training, I think. And pretty much from the get-go in the swim, I went hypoxic. Um, doesn't help that you got, you know, ex-pro swimmers like Greg Harper and Chase McQueen and Nick Quinette, you know, great, great swimmers. And um, yeah, I mean, on the bike, I felt a little bit flat, kind of lacking a little bit of that top end uh, 70.3 stuff that you need. Um, and I think carrying maybe a little bit of Ironman fatigue from the race uh, a month ago. But uh, yeah, no excuses. I mean, um, I had a good day and uh, happy to finish on the podium. You were running with uh, Nicholas there. You guys were kind of going back and forth. Were you guys working together out there or was it just more like, OK, who's going to make the move? Who's going to drop? Yeah, we we're kind of working together a little bit. It wasn't too windy, so it didn't really matter that much. But there's definitely a little bit of a psychological boost, I think, you know, sitting on someone's shoulder. So. Yeah, we ran together for about 15K. Um, I tried to pick it up a few times. Um, fortunately, I actually felt better in the back half of the run than the first half. I felt awful coming off the bike, and I was like, oh, this is just going to be a slog. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's where Iron Man comes to your advantage. <laughs> uh, you know, feeling better as the run goes on. And uh, I think a race like this as well, the altitude kind of, I mean, well, it didn't really affect Matt Hansen, but I think it, I think it plays into more of a uh, stronger man's kind of day. Um, so yeah, I think some of that Ironman training really helped me out in that back half of the run. Uh, actually, I, I would call it my day today, to be honest. I uh, felt terrible from the gun. Um, missed the front group of the swim, which is unusual for me. Um, I was just hanging on by my fingertips for about probably 800 meters of it, and then I just lost touch. Um, I think they put about 40 seconds into me out of the water. So I was kind of chasing from the beginning today, which I hate. <laughs> Um, and then on the bike, it was just like the battle out there for me. Um, I couldn't keep any nutrition down. I was just spraying everything back up. So I'm not sure whether maybe some res water or I don't know. I came down with a stomach bug last week. So maybe that stuck around a little bit more than I thought it did. But yeah, it was a bit of an interesting ride for me. I just tried to kind of stick with my group and uh, ended up riding in front of my group the whole time. Um, so yeah, it was nice. To be, it's nice to be able to, to be in control of that group. Um, and then when I got to split seven and a half or eight minutes of SIF, uh, I knew I had my work cut out for me. I was really thinking about winning uh, on the run. I just wanted to break down that gap as much as possible for the sake of points at the end. Uh, but I came good about seven k on the run, surprisingly, considering I wasn't able to take in a whole heap of nutrition on the bike. So I just tried to take in as much as I could on the run and uh, work into it. And yeah, I came good about 7K. Caught stiff at kilometer 20. So it was 1K to go. And then I just had to like hold up in the finish line the best I could. And uh, yeah, I was very proud to come away with the win. Uh, two weeks, I'm going to race in Montremblant. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. It's kind of a bucket list race for me. It's been on my race list ever since 2016 and I've just never made it there so this is the year whenever you win it's a great day <laughs> uh, but yeah I mean when you have to work for it that hard and when you have to fight that hard for it then it makes it even more special. It was a very good day I felt a little bit lonely in most of the bike ride and run but um, it started out with a good swim in the front crew we were four girls I think swimming good together um, and then I just took the chance on the bike and just went for it because I knew I needed to have a lot of time in T2 if I wanted to be close to the top finish of the race. So I just went as hard as I could. Um, and then on the run, it was just a bit uh, survival for me um, because I've been very injured for the past years. So I just went with everything I had. Um, and unfortunately, I got overtaken in the last two kilometers or something, but I'm very happy with second place. You uh, tell us you've been living in Boulder here the yeah. past month or so. Yeah. Do you think that paid off? Yeah, I think that uh, staying in altitude towards the race has been very good for me. I feel like I had, I had an extra gear. Um, and yeah, it has just been a very good training block leading into this one. Uh, talk about the Pro Series, what's next for you? Um, I don't know exactly what will be next, but um, I'm looking very much into the Pro Series and perhaps another one, 70.3 in the future. <laughs> uh, how, is it, how important is it the points, to gather points? I think it's very important. It's also, when I knew I was overtaken, I tried to stay as close to Ellie as I could, uh, so I could get as much points as possible. Congrats on the race. Thank you. Yeah, um, so this is kind of a home race for me, being training in Boulder the last year and a half, and I've been doing quite a lot of recon for the race and sort of had expectations being at altitude and heat to, to stay pretty conservative. Kind of worked out in my favor that I had Jody in the swim, was able to stay right, sitting pretty in second place with her. Uh, got on the bike and just kind of, yeah, as it's my first 70.3, I just wanted to like learn a bit the dynamics and how Race Ranger works and get my nutrition in. And I felt quite controlled all day, uh, really on the ball. And then I wasn't really sure how it'd stack up on my run. That's probably my weaker point, but we've been working a lot on it last year and a half. And I just feel like I've been waiting for it to click and it just kind of came through today for me, which just makes me really proud. And yeah, it's been a tough 18 months racing short course, missing out on the games. Uh, the team was announced this week for Belgium and 
though I knew I wasn't going to be on it, it's still, it's still a blow. So this is a really nice pick me up after the struggles of the last 18 months. Now that, now that first 70.3 knocked out of the park in the pro series, are there any other races lined up? Yeah, I think there's a lot of kind of low hanging fruit this year and just kind of trying to get my feet under me. I mean, I just hope to be top 10 here. I didn't want to set too high of expectations being third definitely exceeded that additionally that means I get a world slot and that's kind of was like a little bonus on the end of the year so that's in my sights and I just need to kind of fine tune this distance a little bit more through some other Ironman 7.3 races throughout the back half of the year. Congrats on your race. Thank you.